In this section we're going to talk about fluid pressure and so first we need to talk about fluids and we need to define what a fluid is. So this is a good time to talk about the states of matter. Matter can exist as a solid or a liquid or a gas and those are the three states of matter. Now you probably already know that matter is made up of atoms. Atoms are the little individual pieces, what's, what's sometimes referred to as the building blocks of matter. And in a solid, all the atoms are fixed in place relative to each other. So you could draw a solid kind of like this. Let's just represent the atoms as little spheres. They're not really, but they're commonly pictured this way. And so we have some atoms and they're usually arranged in a pattern like this and then these lines that I'm drawing between them these are what I'm going to call bonds and we'll study more about atoms and bonds later on in this course but these bonds think of these as the forces that hold the atoms together and in a solid the atoms are held together in a pattern like this which is usually referred to as a lattice sometimes called a crystal lattice All that means is a formation. They're held together in a particular formation. And they stay in their original positions. The atoms actually vibrate back and forth. Any one individual atom is sitting there shaking back and forth the whole time. But it doesn't move very far. It's kind of like you're sitting in your seat in a classroom at school and you might wiggle around in your seat but you don't move to another seat or you don't move across the room. You stay in that seat but you can still move back and forth a little bit. The atoms here move in that fashion. They're all vibrating, all of them all the time. But one of them, say this atom here, doesn't vibrate and work its, work its way across over to the other side. It stays basically in that position in the lattice. And that's the key aspect of a solid. If something is a solid, the atoms stay basically in place relative to one another. In a liquid, the atoms move more freely. A good example of a liquid is water. And water, as you probably know, um, we'll put liquid down here in this space. Water, as you probably know, is sometimes referred to as H2O. And what that means is two hydrogens and one oxygen. So if you have two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom, that forms a water molecule. So a water molecule actually looks like this. The oxygen is pretty big and then the two hydrogens are stuck on there. It's sometimes described as looking sort of like Mickey Mouse. There's two hydrogen atoms stuck on one oxygen atom. So in a liquid, the atoms aren't bonded together with these bonds like we saw in the solid. We might see uh, an atom here and another one here, or excuse me, a molecule. Each, each water molecule is made of three atoms, two hydrogens and one oxygen. And they're just floating around, and they're free to, to move. Any, any given molecule is free to move all around. And they're all bouncing around at random and banging around at random there. So if you have them in a container, so I'll draw a container here. Gravity tends to pull them down to the bottom of the container, but they're still free to flow around inside the container. Now in reality, these atoms are much, much smaller than are drawn here. They're, they're far too small to see. They're microscopic. All of these molecules would be incredibly tiny and instead of drawing eight or ten of them inside this container there would be billions and billions of them. So, But that's a liquid. The atoms are free to move around relative to each other. And in a gas, the atoms are free to move and are also moving much faster. So let me draw a container here and we'll put a lid on the container. This will be closed because you need a container that's closed to contain the gas. And I'll draw the molecules of gas as just little dots. So you imagine these and they're moving all around very fast, much faster than in a liquid. And they're flying all around the container, bouncing off of each other, bouncing off the walls of the container. But they're moving so fast that gravity doesn't pull them all the way to the bottom where they would uh, sit right against each other like in a liquid. They're just flying all around freely and taking up far more space than in a liquid. So this is a gas. So those are the three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. 
Now, a liquid or a gas is referred to as a fluid. So a fluid is a liquid or a gas. And they're called a fluid because they can flow. And that's the essential characteristic of a fluid. The atoms are free to move around. And now that, now that we understand the basics of what fluids are, we can talk about pressure in fluids.